New archaeological evidence is overturning formerly long accepted theories on human origins. Out of Africa has been fundamental to evolutionary science for four decades. It was initiated in the 1980s by mitochondrial DNA research from University of California Berkeley biologist Rebecca Kahn and Alan Wilson. BBC Early History 2011. The Out of Africa model is that Homo sapiens developed first in Africa and then spread around the world, superseding all other hominid species, and that all modern people are ultimately of African descent. The bulk of scientists support the Out of Africa hypothesis. Quote, We are all Africans. Genetic similarities between peoples of Eurasia, Oceania, and the Americas indicate that all non-Africans descend from a small population that left Africa roughly 60,000 years ago. End quote. Bridget Alex, lecturer and writer, Discover and Science. Quote, we are family, one world, end quote. Into the 2000s, recent out of Africa reached fever pitch levels. BBC, The Incredible Human Journey, Professor of Anatomy, Alice Roberts, 2009. Quote, we are all closely related. We're all one. We're all one with non-white people. End quote. Recent out of Africa ideology persists even today. History with Kaylee. Quote, Anatomically, modern humans are all descendants of the recent out of Africa expansion, bottleneck that occurred around 50,000 years ago. End quote. Social justice activists, multiculturalists, and globalists use out of Africa as a fundamental basis to justify colonization of Western nations via third world immigration. Out of Africa theory suffered a severe blow in 2010 when Svante Pabo and his team at the Max Planck Institute in Leipzig, Germany confirmed Neanderthal DNA in the Eurasian genome. A year later, they discovered Denisovans. Chris Stringer of the London Natural History Museum is regarded as the world's top paleoanthropologist. He was an early adopter and proponent of Out of Africa. In the early 2010s, Stringer began to revise his view. Chris Stringer, 2013, quote, I think the idea that modern humans originated in Africa is still a good concept, but I've come around to thinking that it wasn't a simple origin. 20 years ago, I would have argued that our species evolved in one place, maybe in East Africa or South Africa. Now I don't think it's that simple, end quote. Game-changing archaeological discovery in Greece. Greek archaeologists have just made an amazing find that is leaving paleoanthropologists puzzled. Katerina Harvati is a close friend and colleague of Chris Stringer. From her bio, born in Athens, Greece, she is now director of the Institute for Archaeological Sciences, University of Tübingen, Germany, and with the Department of Human Evolution at the Max Planck Institute. Greek Island of Crete. According to the Greek Reporter, May 2022, joint Greek international archaeological teams have been finding mysterious tools at dig sites for decades on various Ionian islands. Amongst these were hand tools that resembled those made by both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens 50,000 to 200,000 years ago. Quote, On a lot of these Mediterranean islands, you have these amazing remains from classical antiquity to study. So for many years, people didn't even look for older sites, end quote, said archaeologist Alan Simmons at the University of Nevada at Las Vegas. From the Greek Reporter, a Greek-American team of scientists found in Plakias hundreds of stone tools quite similar to tools used by both Homo erectus over a million years ago and Neanderthals more than 130,000 years ago. From Yahoo News, Ancient Mariners, did Neanderthals sail to the Mediterranean? Neanderthals and other extinct human lineages might have been ancient mariners, venturing to the Mediterranean islands thousands of years earlier than previously thought. 
Continuing from Yahoo, stone artifacts on the southern Ionian Islands hint at human sites there as early as 110,000 years ago. Investigators have also recovered quartz hand axes, three-sided picks, and stone cleavers from Crete that may date back about 170,000 years ago. Charles Choi, Live Science 2012. Stone artifacts on the southern Ionian Islands hint at human sites there as early as 110,000 years ago. The distance of Crete, about 100 miles from the mainland, would have made such a sea voyage no small feat. Charles Choi, the seafarers who made them might not have even been modern humans 100,000 years ago. Instead, they might have been Neanderthals, perhaps even Homo erectus. Some paleoanthropologists, archaeologists, and ancient history explorers are leaning firmly on the side of Neanderthals as the Greek toolmakers. In 2019, Stefan Milo of YouTube made a video on the ancient mariners. Quote, Back on the island of Crete, archaeologists have discovered hand tools, hand axes, things like this that are associated with our species. End quote. Stefan Milo, quote, The only problem is they are dated at the oldest to 110,000 years ago. There's only one species in Europe at that time. Who could have made those tools? It's our old friends, Neanderthals, our chubby, squat, muscly, hominid cousins, end quote. Stefan continues, quote, It is entirely possible that they, Neanderthals, sailed across the Mediterranean, which would dramatically change our understanding of Neanderthals and how clever they were." End quote. Homo heidelbergensis. Still more speculation from Haaretz, 2022. Hominins were sailing the Mediterranean half a million years ago, study finds. The most likely candidate would be Erectus or one of his descendants, such as Homo heidelbergensis, or Neshar Homo Ramla, just discovered in Israel. In 2019, 2020, 2021, as all these experts were coming up with hypotheses as to the likely Aegean toolmakers, Arvati and Stringer were re-examining two hominid skulls found in a southern Greece cave. From Nature, July 2019, Arvati, Stringer, Rainer Grun, et al. Epitomic cave fossils provide earliest evidence of Homo sapiens in Eurasia. Nature. Epitome 2 dates to more than 170,000 years ago and has a Neanderthal like morphological pattern. By contrast, Epitome 1 dates to more than 210,000 years ago and presents a mixture of modern human and primitive features. Continuing. These results suggest that two late Middle Pleistocene human groups were present at this site, an early Homo sapiens population followed by a Neanderthal population. Our findings support multiple dispersals of early modern humans out of Africa. Ancient Israeli Fossils The dating of the Greek archaeological finds is consistent with human fossil evidence in Israel. From the Jerusalem Post, June 2023, some fossils found in Greece and Mislia Cave in Israel have been dated to 210,000 and 180,000 years ago, respectively. Now, further excavations have uncovered new evidence. The dates for a hominid species on the Aegean Islands in Greece have just been pushed back even further, and another likely candidate for the fossil toolmaker has emerged. Homo antecessor in Greece? From NBC News, newly discovered stone tools, June 2023. The find just announced would drag the dawn of Greek archaeology back by as much as a quarter of a million years. Continuing, the artifacts are simple tools like sharp stone flakes belonging to the lower Paleolithic stone tool industry, the co-director said. Panagiotas Karkanas, Eleni Panagopoulo, Greek cultural minister, and Katarina Harvati. Continuing, they said it's possible the items were produced by Homo antecessor, 
the hominin species dating from that period in other parts of Europe, believed to have been the last common ancestor of modern humans and their extinct Neanderthal cousins, who diverged about 800,000 years ago. Rewriting the Human Family Tree From Fizz.org, oldest ever human genetic evidence clarifies dispute over our ancestors. June 2020 Genetic information from an 800,000-year-old human fossil tooth has been retrieved for the first time. The fossils analyzed by the researchers were found by paleoanthropologist Jose Maria Bermudez de Castro and his team in 1994 in Atapuerca. Quote, ancient protein analysis, our results support the idea that Homo antecessor was a sister group to the group containing Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, end quote, says Frido Velker, PhD researcher, University of Copenhagen. Quote, I am happy that the protein study provides evidence that the Homo antecessor species may be closely related to the last common ancestor of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. Antecessor would therefore be a basal species of the emerging humanity. End quote. Jose Maria Bermudez de Castro. Now with the release of the new Greek study, there is hard evidence of Homo antecessor in Greece 700 to 800,000 years ago. We also have hard evidence that Homo antecessor was technologically advanced, able to build boats, navigate large bodies of water, and to craft sophisticated stone tools. A study published in Nature, Grand Dolina Atapuerca site, February 2021, found stunning similarities in the facial region between antecessor and Homo sapiens. Derived features found in modern humans, the general pattern of the genus Homo, with minor differences compared to Homo sapiens. Direct lineage from Homo antecessor to Homo sapiens on the European continent would imply separate origins for Europeans, Asians, and Melanesians from Africans for hundreds of thousands of years. This would be confirmation of a multi-regional model. Recent out-of-Africa proponents said initially only 40,000 years of separation. They pushed it back to 50 to 65,000 years, then it was 80,000 years. Most recently, they have been using the 100,000-year figure. For example, BBC superstar anthropologist Professor Alice Roberts stated originally in her series, Out of Africa was at 50,000 years ago. Two years later, by 2011, she had changed it in her book to 100,000 years. Thanks to the archaeologists in Greece, Out of Africa will now need to be pushed back to 700 to 800,000 years, and quite possibly as far back as 2 million years. Kalimera, tikana te keria, e faristo poli, kataleveno micro salinica, barakalo, adiosas. Thank you for watching. The best thing you can do to help promote an alternative view to the dominant left bias paleoanthropology is to pass on this video to others. Subscribing to this channel, hitting the like button, and leaving a comment also helps us to grow. Thank you.